Welcome back to the game where we make bridges that definitely don't fall down. It's Polybridge 3. Uh, I checked out the uh, the game the other day and we finished out most of the classic rock, which is uh, the basic introductory level. We got through like nine levels of that. There's one left there. Then we're gonna hop over to Miner's Mountain. We'll unlock more worlds as we complete more levels. Uh, these in the next tier here, we have to complete a total of 16 of the ones at the introduction level. I know a few other people who are playing the game right now, so we're gonna have to set our sights on them and we're gonna get some high scores, but some of them are engineers already, so this might be a challenge. Level 10, go for the gold. We have a bunch of 24,000. Of course, we have the same uh, three basic materials. This one has two vehicles. We've got like this you know, little family car kind of thing with a little Jeep. No drivers in these ones, funny enough. Uh, and they have to get the two flags on the other side. Uh, as well as getting the star that's in the middle, I guess. So we can't entirely go straight across on this one just because we have to deal with getting the stars here. So we're gonna set a little curve that just kind of dips right down into the star area. We're trying to minimize the amount of road that we're using if I can. Fill this in with some road. Perfect. We'll need a little bit of support underneath to keep this thing held up. Now we could try and use steel. If I do like a steel point here and a, st and a steel point over here, that's probably gonna hold it. We might want to change that out afterwards to try to save on cost. But we'll see how that works initially. Draw on some triangles as we try to get this all solidified underneath here. Cool thing about this game is the different vehicles have a different amount of weight too. So this one has like massive five, uh, I guess that's, I don't know, polygrams or something. And then this one here is the same weight, but a little bit, uh, a little bit faster acceleration. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. This bridge probably will hold, I don't know, maybe. Easy peasy. All right, max rest 51.63%. We spent 17,000 on that one, uh, which puts me not in the best spot. We're gonna have to do a little bit of a, a little bit of work to try to cut costs here. Now I knew that this was gonna be really expensive, so that's fine. We're gonna try to clear this out. We'll just do the supports off. Instead of having them uh, the whole way across, we'll just do them uh, off of these metal areas where the metal is already providing more structural support. That saves me a couple pieces anyway. That gets us down to 16,000 and change. Should probably still hold, I think. Yeah, we're good. 68% max stress. So again, we have we definitely have more opportunity for cut cost here. It gets us to 15th. We can uh, probably make these a little smaller and that will cut cost also. I might even consider changing out the metal to wood. That would probably be the best savings. Oh, okay, that didn't work. But specifically the center, it's breaking out. So let's maybe just make the center a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's all it needed. Oh no, <laughs> it got all the way to the very end. Okay, so the last one broke. Um, we can make this slightly bigger too, and that will help. That puts us top 20%, we're in 13th, but that's not good enough. We can do better than that. Dangerously Funny's ahead of me. We can't have that to do better. Uh, I'm gonna try swapping out the metal that's in here and see if it actually ends up being cheaper doing a wooden structure. Well, I got it down to 13,821. I've toyed around with this for a while and I can't seem to get something that's gonna actually hold up and be any cheaper than this. That gets me to 12th place. And we gotta hit it dangerously funny, I guess. Okay, we're on to the new world. This is MM learning the ropes. Ooh, we finally get rope suspension now. So we get cables and ropes. Uh, cables being made out of metal, I would assume. And then we have to try to get this package delivery truck across the, uh, the, the big gorge here. Draw that across. We'll fill that in with some roadway. All right, a little bit of cable suspension. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna hold this truck. This thing weighs 9.5 polygrams. Now the robes are pretty strong, but I don't have that center supported. I think it's just gonna fall right through. There it goes. <laughs> hey, we made a swing. So the wood is 180 per meter. Ropes are 220. So I could probably, probably make a little bit of a framework on here that we can attach the ropes to. I don't know if that's gonna hold, but I just kind of want to test this and see what happens. The truck is really heavy. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Throw a little support down here in the middle with the rope, and then maybe that'll be enough. I don't know. I'm already over budget though, so that's that's problematic. That's definitely strong enough. Got to cross easy enough, but we're over budget right now. 89% stresses. I'm 50 second. We're in the bottom 13%. Yeah, that's that's not gonna work. Plenty strong enough. I think it's too strong. Got me down to 40. Okay, under support works as well. I got it down to 21,434. We're slowly shaving costs off. Ooh, 99.89% stress. 
<laughs> now we're top 21%. That dropped me all the way down into 13th place. I'm a little behind Dre. Only by like 300 bucks. I think we can get ahead of Dre, though. Just gotta shave a little bit more cost off of here. Well, we're gonna have like the 80 some odd percent stress. Oh, 99.58% stress, so it still got pretty high. Top 11%. That got me into 10th place. I'm ahead of Dre. Still no sign of RCE. I have a feeling he's already played this level, but he's probably way up here in, like, first or second place or something. Yeah, look at that. He's in second place. 18,761. Man, how did he get his bridge so cheap? Okay, I got down to seventh, but Dangerously Funny is playing right now, and he just got a better score than me. Now he's at sixth. Oh, this isn't going to work. So I've been playing with this for a while, and I can't get the cost down low enough, but it just occurred to me, I've been making a really bold assumption that it's probably not true. I've been assuming the road should be flat straight across here, but if I actually arch the road upwards, I should be able to reduce the length of rope that I need to hold the, ro the road up. That might actually save me cost. And then it might be easier to build a structure underneath this thing that supports it also. So right, we'll try that out, I guess. We'll see what happens. Try using the power of the arch here a little bit and see if that uh, will give me what I need to hold this thing up. 19,352. I don't know. <laughs> All right, that that apparently will present a problem. I need to lower the angle of the road a little bit. Oh, it's popping a wheel. Oh. <laughs> All right, I think the angled road may not work with this truck. I decided to completely rethink my design. I realized the truck doesn't have to just drive straight across the bridge. We could probably save money by bringing the bridge up to the anchor points and then just let it fall off the end. So I built a new bridge that's uh, an upward sloping ramp, a little tip at the end. It's just gotta basically run off and it has to go, has to fall far enough to land up here and hit the flag. Uh, but we're at 17,942, so I cut a few thousand dollars out of this, uh, this bridge build. Let's see how it plays out. That's a really steep drive. It's, I don't know if it's got enough speed to get off the end. <laughs> Jackpot! Uh, it does, the truck doesn't have to be on its wheel. Boom, we came in top 1%. That puts me in number two in the world so far. Now granted, we're still in early access, but that puts me one ahead of our RCE, who uh, is about $800 more expensive than I was in this build. All right, map number two on the new world. We've got this fancy little Jeep over here. Again, with no drivers. I don't know who's supposed to drive in these things. Um, we have a uh, cable stays going on here. Cable stayed bridge is a bridge with vertical towers and a straight cables and an angle supported the bridge deck. So it gave me like a starting point to something here. It seems like they're suggesting we're supposed to continue this process out the other side. All right, so we'll try this with a, with a traditional build first, and we'll see what happens. And then, and then maybe we'll go a little weird. I don't know. We'll see what uh, we'll see what the cost structure looks like. I, I'm assuming cable stays. They mean like this. The center one, I guess, is going to have to share a cable or a rope going into both sides. Now that takes almost all the budget up, though. Thirty-one thousand. I don't even know if that's going to hold. Oh wow, rock solid. <laughs> all right, never mind. <laughs> This is why I'm not an engineer. 53% max stress level, that puts me the bottom 8%. Yeah, um, we're definitely gonna need to improve on that. So I, I'm kind of inclined to go the same way again that we did with the last one and just try to drop the uh, drop the little Jeep in. I wonder, can we do take cable stays that will hold this thing on an upward angle or is it just gonna snap because the weight is kind of downward but the support is more to like the left? I, I don't really know. It seems, this seems unlikely this is gonna work, but I don't know, we'll see. 24,000 and change. That's pretty solid. Well, fairly solid. The farther out the vehicle gets toward the end of the uh, road, the more pressure is applied back here, obviously. All right, so I went non-conventional again. I, I propped up the end of this one to make a little jump at the end. Instead of using a cable stay on the right-hand side, we'll just use it a little bit on the left. If this works, I think I can still shave some cost off of this one. Maybe like if we can make these just a little smaller, maybe. Since we got this metal support at the end now that's going to keep this end of the bridge from wanting to like dip down too much while the vehicle's going over. I mostly just need to hold it at this end. I might even be able to do it without this. Come on, baby, you can do it. Oh yeah, easy peasy. <laughs> Finishing on my roof again, but it's all right. 94.4% max stress. Uh, that gets me the top 6%, so I'm now number five overall, just ahead of Dangerously Funny. So they gave us the cable stays arrangement for this level, but what if we don't actually need the cable stays and we can just use a bridge? I managed to build one for 14902 which is significantly below the budget amount. 
So if this thing holds, this might be the best solution. <laughs> Arch for the win! 14,902. That's saved me quite a bit. That gets me into the number two spot. Boom! Look at that. Bad. Only 200 off of the con- Oh, I could go for the number one here. If I could just make this, like, slightly more cost effective. Come on, hold up, baby. 14,703. Is that good enough for the one? Boom! Number one spot by <laughs> by $29. And still, max stress was only at 72.37. I could probably make it even cheaper, but we're already in the number one spot, so heh, that's good enough for me. Our next level is a jumping level, so jump over the plane to collect the flag. Tips, cars can jump farther when the ramp doesn't break. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. Got this tiny little dune buggy thing over here, and they've already given us a bit of a ramp to start with. We have no more road pieces, so we have to make do with the ramp that we have here and try to shore this thing up strong enough that it will actually hold on. We've got, um... Got some pieces here, so we we got cabling and everything. We could actually make like a one of those cable suspension bridge type things if we went this way. This is gonna be too expensive, so we're we're inevitably gonna have to change this. But I'm curious. Will just ropes hold this thing up? Is that a thing that works? Nine thousand one hundred eighty-eight bucks if we go this way, using the exact same rope. Oh, that's perfect. It's also very expensive. Not what we want to do. So we're gonna delete all the ropes over here. We don't need. And instead, I'm just going to build a little, uh, some little wooden triangles. We'll set these on here. We'll use maybe one rope to hold on to it. Again, this almost certainly will not be cheap enough uh, for this to qualify higher in the rankings. But that gets me at 83.84. It's an easy jump at least 76.95 percent max stress that time okay so uh that got me down to 38th place obviously lots of room for improvement still i'm thinking it's the the problem here is going to be this whole cable setup this is uh this is just too expensive i mean the ropes and the cable and the iron and what have you uh let's instead just do a little wooden under support here this is probably not going to be good enough I, i'm expecting this one to break that's okay we're still, we're still experimenting but that cuts our cost down to 4300 and change <laughs> yeah, that, that definitely doesn't work. We could make it a little bit more robust on top. That might actually help with the uh, the support we need. Still breaking. Okay. What about uh, if we go with uh, steel underneath? I've got a, I've got quite a bit of wood under here. So fifty six fifty two is where it's at now. If I get rid of all of this, and instead I just take a single piece of steel. Oh, I can't quite reach that. Let's see if that holds forty four hundred to change. Can I do a single rope anchor point back here? I don't I don't think this is gonna hold, but I'm curious. 5,800. Nope. <laughs> no, that definitely doesn't work. Okay, cable suspension works even with the ropes. That cut my cost quite a bit. I'm down to 6,800, but that's still not good enough. That only gets me to 23rd. We got it, we can do better than this. Uh, who's at the top of this list here? Top scores. Wow, the lowest they got was 3,600. Dangerously Funny got in there at 4,100. Wow, 4,100. So I gotta shave basically 2,000 off this cost. 2,100 off, basically. Okay, I decided to do away with the cable suspension and I built like a bunch of structure under here. I don't I don't know if this is gonna work very well, but hopefully it's strong enough. I don't know, 5,066 bucks worth. Oh, almost. Oh, I got over, but it broke, so that's not good. What if we go like a little crazy? Let's get rid of all the wood support in here. We'll just go with a little bit of iron instead. My iron's pretty expensive, but if I can just support like this, that's 5,000 all by itself. That, that's probably not gonna work. 44, 13, I don't know. That, that, that looks like it's gonna break. Oh, it's, ah, look at the buckling back there. Okay, I didn't support something. What did I miss? What if we only had one piece of iron in here? Um, I don't know if this is gonna hold, but 4741. Ooh, that's solid. That gets me into seventh place. We can shave more off of this. There's more more savings can be had here. We've got too many too many wooden structures in the middle here. It's a little bit too much pressure here. Maybe if I if I lower this one down a little bit to change the angles, adds a little bit to the cost, but we might be all right. Boom, rock solid. 42.71. Oh, that got me into fourth. Dangerously Funny is still like a hundred bucks cheaper than me. Where can I save a hundred dollars on this thing? If I, if I like, try to just refine the layout a tiny bit. 
4160. Will that hold? <laughs> it's a little shorter on the metal. That's there we go. Oh, that gets me into second place on that one. This uh, Concord is still ahead of me by just a five hundred dollars or so. Wow, five hundred bucks. All right, I've tweaked enough of the under supports on this to get the cost all the way down to 4122. That's still not enough to get first, I don't think, but this I think will hold. We'll launch our car over the plane. Oh, that was like really solid. 99.64% max stress. So we still almost broke it, but didn't quite. Improved a tiny little bit in second place. 4122 keeps me solidly in second. Uh Concord, unfortunately, is still a little ahead of me at about just about 500 cheaper. I, I can't get this any cheaper than that though, so. It is what it is. <laughs> I think we're uh, we're just gonna have to take the uh, take the number two spot on this one.